we love to do the referendum on certain players and certain teams. And uh, we do that with LeBron James with every game. And we seem to do that every week with the Dallas Cowboys. They're either the team right. to beat. They're going to go to the Super Bowl. Uh, coach should be fired. Uh, <laughs> the reaction after losing to the Colts and being shut out is what? Uh, very easy for everything to fall back on Garrett and Linehan. Uh, they, they don't know what they're doing. They, they get no credit for the five game winning streak <laughs> yes. when the players, when the players don't show up or when they drop passes, uh, it's back on the coaches. So that's kind of the theme around it. And, and I think there's Cowboy can't, Cowboy fans are very skeptical. They, there may be millions of them, but for, for good reasons, no NFC championship games for 23 years, they're very skeptical. And I think, the five game winning streak had made a lot of us think, you know, they're, this team's going to win the East and they'll win the wild card game at home. And then we'll see, they'll probably lose, but play well against the Saints or Rams. And now it's back to, could they lose to Tampa Sunday? Could they really need a win <laughs> in New York the last week of the season just to win the East? Uh, Cause uh, everything, everything fell apart, not just in the Cowboy game, but then Philadelphia and Washington winning games. I mean, all three of those results were pretty crazy. It just felt like, and teams have these games where you go, I don't, I can't explain that. And it felt like that was one of those games, like Minnesota losing to Buffalo, where you go, how did that happen? I know the Colts are a good team, but it, it felt like it was just an odd matchup to me. Can you, can you do it as just a one-off here, or is there, is there a troubling sign that you're seeing? The, the, the troubling sign is the defense getting, it's funny, they got shut out. And the thing I take out of that game is, whoa, Marlon Mack ran for 139 yards, a career high. You know, is this defense going to go back to getting pushed around? Because that hasn't happened in a while. Uh, So that's the scary part. But I think you're right about the first part. The Colts are in this dogfight with Tennessee and with Baltimore. They got to keep winning just to have a shot. The Cowboys knew after they beat the Eagles, no matter what, stuff Jason Garrett tried to feed him. They had a two game lead and all the tiebreakers with three to go. They really, and they still don't, they probably don't need to win another game. They could just wait for Philadelphia and Washington to lose a game. So this game meant everything for the Colts, the Cowboys. Yeah. They'd like to keep winning, but when when a couple bad things happened on those early drives, the block kick drop pass down at the one, it's kind of, you shrug your shoulders and go, well, that's not going to happen. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.